Hey gang. Well, before I go to the city park to charge up my phone, I just wanted to show you guys this hill. Well, actually, this very steep hill that I uh, told you guys about in my last video. You know, I was going to tell you guys about. Now, some of you may be looking at this and going like, it doesn't look that steep. Oh, trust me, it is. See, there's a similar road up, up a couple blocks over that way. And there's one over that over that way, about a block over from here. But this was the one my brother, my friends, and I always loved to ride down. Why? Because we were young, dumb, and chewing gum. In other words, we were complete idiots. <laughs> this is the one road that we like to ride down the most because, well, it was probably the best way to really get injured. <laughs> Told you. We were complete idiots. See, we... The one down that way, you could ride down it pretty good, but there was, always, there was always a chance that before you got to the bottom, you could slow down and, well, if you had good brakes. And the one over there, not a very good chance of injury or anything like that, but this is the one that you would get mostly injured on the most. Because you never know if there was going to be a car coming in front of you, and nine times out of ten, the people did not obey stop signs. So we would ride down this hill, me on a mountain bike, a 10-speed, whatever kind of bike I could get at the time to ride, mostly a mountain bike. My brother and my friend, my brother and our friends and, and, and I would always ride down this hill and go, you know, straight down. And there were times that we didn't quite hit the brakes in time, so there was always usually a pretty good chance for injury whenever we, uh, whenever we rode down this hill. And who got the most injuries? Well, it's usually either my brother or, or myself. I, in, honest, in all honesty, I've had so many concussions, I can't even remember how many injuries I've had. You know, slamming into a slamming into a pole, falling into a ditch, falling sideways, <laughs> something like that. Almost hitting cars, the whole nine yards. And there was actually one time I completely forgot I had no brakes on my mountain bike. And I rode down this sucker, and I was hitting the brakes and going, I have no brakes, I'm going to die. <laughs> and... Um, so I just kept going, 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 going until eventually I just, I, I had to scuff up my shoes to try and get me to stop. And my brother thought it was like one of the coolest things he'd ever seen. I said, yeah, now I got to tell mom and dad that I've ruined my shoes trying to save myself from being killed going down this stupid hill. So, yeah. Uh, the last time I actually had anything to do on this hill was uh, when I used to work for the uh, city trash service. And even going up this thing, hanging onto the back of the trash truck... It was pretty scary. But uh, like I said, out, out of all the hills we rode down, this was by far the one that you could probably get hurt on the most. So, yeah. I don't know if anybody rides down this hill anymore, unless it's in a car. On a skateboard, on a scooter, on a bike, I doubt they do that anymore. But if they do, well, you know what? Share your memories in the comments below for anybody who's ever been down this hill. And if you've ever done anything crazy like this, love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'm going to get going. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. See you guys next time. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. So take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good yourself. And try to be good to others. Until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.